Now, we have a simple question for these people. Very simple question. Mama, thank you very much for coming. Great evangelist. Thank you very much. All right. We have very simple question for these people. What are the challenges faced by the elderly today? And how can we really manage these challenges? Well, let's look at what are the challenges. What do you think that is the major areas of concern today? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The challenges I see for the elders is that, number one, when you come for some family, they don't grow, they don't want children. And at times, the children of the elder and their mama, so at certain time, our we women, they will become discouraged our children to know that maybe the elder, you know, you don't have something to do or you not meet up for the demand of the children. Instead of their mama, we be encourage, they encourage them. This is your father. Whatever, whatever, is your father. Respect your father. Some mother will be making the children to be insulting their father, taking their father as if not anything. Okay, thank you. Let me guide us a little bit. I want us to treat one area. Is it true that the elderly today, many of them are suffering neglect? I want us to make comments on that. Neglect. You've grown to a level in life, nobody to care for you. Nobody is remembering you. It's as if you have been abandoned. Is it an experience? Let's talk about that briefly. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The generation we found ourselves, we serve our parents, and we are still serving our children. Take note of that. We, have, we served our parents, and we are still serving our children. That is a delicate statement. Yes. Can I expatiate on this? Very briefly, please. When we are young, we follow our, children, our family, uh, parents down to wherever they are going, any errand they send us. To carry out any assignment, with all humility, we will carry uh, this out. But the children nowadays, their own is, they care for themselves more than even considering you. And they still come for you, to you, for assistance. Thank you very much. It's very clear. Yes, any other comment on that? Yes. I think the bottom line is that there's no absolute relationship with God. The children, the society is drawing away the children, and the children do not have real relationship with God. And because they don't have real relation with God, they have no fear, and they are disobedient. Thank because you. Because they are disobedient, they don't bother to listen to the elderly. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. There's an adage the children tell us, the old ones, your days are gone. We thank God that our days that are old, even they go further to say that our time has expired. But we thank God, we listen to our parents, and that's where we are today. Most of them believe they can do their things because they are in a modern life, and those are the challenges. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Now, it is clear that many of our parents today are suffering neglect. The younger ones must wake up to their responsibilities. One of the speakers said, we served our parents. We are still serving our children. That is delicate. That is dangerous. That is unhealthy. So the younger ones must wake up to their responsibilities and see that these elderly ones are cared for. Why? Because where you are now, you will leave that position. Where they are now, you will get there. Is it not true? Put your hands together for Jesus. Please go back to your seat. God bless you.